we're probably on the biggest, maybe the worst rodent infestation in a home that we've ever seen. So let's go see it right, right now. Most of the activity that we're seeing, we're seeing okay. in here in the kitchen. Okay. Um, you could see the vents are starting to get okay, filled with stuff. Ooh. Is that rodent hair? Yeah. Yeah, look at that rodent hair there. We also have droppings anywhere underneath there. Okay. And even under here we have um, Look inside here. They ate the plastic on the back of this. Oh, they're chewing oh. on the back of the dishwasher. Wow. Oh, look, and they ate. Oh, look at they ate through the, the drain right here, too. Yeah, they ate. Look at they that. Ate. Oh, wow. They ate the plastic there. They ate the plastic tubing for this. So we had like a massive water leak. And um, we had to shut the water off eventually, you know. Wow. Um, and where we think they're coming in from is from that That's hole. Yes. I yeah. Need that. Yeah. You see, there's a, it's a hole. Mm -hmm. So the other area that they're spending a lot of time in is they're coming over here near near the washer and dryer, and you can see their droppings. Those. This potatoes. So they're going into the bucket and they're eating going the into the bucket and eating the potato. So this is the other area that my mom hears them in. And you can see that they're getting all the insulation and moving it. And so when was the last time uh, the rodent there. company, when did you have them here? When yeah. uh, they, we hired the other rodent company about six weeks ago. Okay. And where and did they come out? They, they came out and did a full inspection they, and covered everything? They covered uh, many of the entrances. Okay. Uh, they put a few traps. I think it was like four traps, five traps. Okay. And they came, uh, they're supposed to come for two months, eight weeks. They only ended up coming for like three weeks or four weeks. Based on what we find, we're going to come up with a protocol and a plan mm -hmm. as to what really needs to happen here to solve this once and for all. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So give us a few minutes here and then we'll, we'll come back. And okay. Wow, did you see that chewing of the dishwasher, the potatoes underneath that sink? The What got me, you guys, was that HVAC register full of rat hair. Unbelievable. Well, we're on a mission and this is gonna be a major challenge, guys. Why? Because they're everywhere. Yeah. All right, guys, so the very first thing you wanna do is do a sniffing of all of the vents and that kind of gives you an idea if there's any uh, rodent urine because rodent urine is very distinctive, so you'll be able to smell it. Another indicator is over here. You see this pipe right here, how it has cobwebs? That's an indication that rodents are not going through that vent. If it was, those spider webs would be completely removed. Guys, massive suspect area right here. We're actually right above the kitchen area, checked out right inside there, wide open. Rodent companies need to see things like this and cover those. When you hire an exclusion company, that's their job. All right, so we gotta go under now. Yep, we gotta go under, and I think it's gonna be him this time. No, no, no. It's gonna be me. Ready, here we go. Yes! Dang it. Yes! I got it, no Yes! Worries. Just wanted to take a moment here before we go under the crawl space to do our inspection. You know, the homeowners hired a professional rodent company to do the exclusion here. But as you can see, they left these openings here, okay? And look at the screws already coming apart. Here's another area right here that can easily be lifted up or bent, allowing continuous rodent activity. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in there and do a full inspection of the crawl space and uh, see what we can find. Oh, they're chewing the, chewing the insulation. 
See that right there? Yes, sir. There's rodent feces here. See right there? All right, we're underneath the kitchen right now. Okay, Daniel, let's go to this side. Okay. And uh, let's look and see if they're tunneling underneath the foundation. I think they're getting into the crawl space. Yeah. Right there. In La Puerta. Yeah. What's up? It's broken. The wood is broken inside. Where? It's going towards my direction. Okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, right here. Look at this. Look at this. They chewed up here. They're chewing this insulation. There's other yeah, there's a hole right there. See that? Yeah, I see that too. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to cover that, Daniel. Cover everyone else. All right, so as you can see, we've secured properly sealed everything so we don't get any possible dust, virus, bacteria. You never know what you're going to find inside of a register or anytime you're doing an opening. So this is really something that's very important when you're dealing with this type of contamination. All right, so we're about to take this off. The goal really is to see if we can see any openings in the duct system. And then we're going to run a camera to see if we can identify where they're coming in. It's a good starting point right here to wrap our heads around uh, how they're getting in this home. Okay. See what they're doing here? Tearing up all the insulation, even to the, the plastic around the duct system. Let's get a flashlight camera in there and see, see what we find. Okay, so this is the camera that we're going to feed through the duct system. Why don't you guys take a look in the monitor, see if you see anything. It appears to be rat hairs. Yeah, right there at the bottom? Yep. They're chewing it up for sure. I think we should get up into the attic when, and see the light inside the HVAC okay. duct system. All right, there's the attic space. So now we're going to go up there and uh, walk all the way towards the kitchen and see what we can find. All right, I'm tapping on uh, the ceiling here just to kind of give David a idea of where we're at. Anything, Dave? Nothing yet. Got a hole right there in the duct system. Right there. And you could see right here, folks. You can see the chew marks right here. Let's see. We're gonna go towards the kitchen here. You can see all the debris here. So much insulation under here that it's hard to find. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have? There's the kitchen right there. You can see where all the insulation is at the bottom. 
<laughs> Nothing, bro. All right, so we're back here at the washing machine. You can see again the rodent droppings here. But again, here's a trap that hasn't been set off here. So what we've done to do something a little bit different and aggressive and try to outsmart the rats is this. All right, so you can see we've, uh, we're hiding our traps because what's happening, what we're finding is that the rats are very intimidated by all of this metallic material here. So what we've done is we've concealed it, put in a hole, and then we set up our bait. So that way we're bringing them inside of these bait stations here versus just setting up a trap. Something to consider when you're dealing with aggressive rat infestation. So this is some of our exclusion products. What's great about this is that um, this goes into small holes and once it gets inside the holes, it expands and the rodents aren't able to penetrate through this. We're gonna insert it uh, behind the tub, kitchen area, and uh, in the crawl space area as well. All right guys, so you can see underneath the kitchen sinks it has been completely, uh, all the holes have been completely excluded. All right guys, we've done all of the assessment evaluation. What we've discovered is three major entry points and we're gonna show you each of those right now. All right guys, entry point number one. This is underneath the tub. This is why she was hearing the activity inside this wall right here. Entry point number two right here at the corner this was open we're right above the kitchen this is the third entry point where they were coming in also this led them right into that hvac system all right cool um well we're we're just as excited as you as like now like we've sealed everything off we walk away and we're still thinking about this job yeah, so don't just... think that we're like all right we're done and, and no, we're, no, no. we're we're we're, we're yeah, part of the journey with you that's we're so passionate about solving people's issues yeah we're here with you to to the nth degree man. but it's a process of elimination so we've done a lot of great work your sewer system is in perfect condition yeah, yeah there's no right. entry points to that we did our smoke test oh, that's good so that's a good a good sign so i think uh i think we're going to be in good shape okay Awesome. Yep. That's really good news to hear. I appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, I wish I could shake your hand. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as you heard uh, the discussion with David, it's a waiting game. And we're sure hope. I think I'm pretty confident with everything that we found today. We've yeah. excluded everything. I think we're going to be in good shape. Yeah, I think so, too. It's just, again, we're going to monitor now the next three. Sometimes it takes four weeks to stop the activity. Yep. So right now, just a waiting game. Hey, if you like this video, please leave your comments, love that feedback, and hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button. And we'll see, see you on, on the, the next one. one.